The studies in the 50s and 2000s that supposedly debunked vitamin E's benefits were on either D or DL alpha tocopherol only. Not only does supplementing with an alpha tocopherol leave out the other seven forms of vitamin E, but it actually decreases body levels of gamma tocopherol and all the tocotrienols. That's important. Because of this, alpha tocopherol in high levels increases cholesterol production, elevates triglycerides, increases blood pressure, and possibly contributes to arteriosclerosis, heart failure, prostate cancer, and more. Are you starting to see why everyone was confused by these studies? I think you figured it out. Who needs true crime podcasts when you can solve a vitamin mystery? Vitamin E is not just alpha tocopherol or DL alpha tocopherol. That's over 99% of what's available and 99% of what's studied, but only 12%, that's one eighth, of what is called vitamin E. 